Good morning, my friends. I don't try to do too many driving talks these days because I like to make these videos as profesh as possible. And plus driving and talking probably is not the wisest thing, right? But um, it's where I'm at this morning because I feel really compelled to share a message with anyone who is struggling in silence. Anyone that feels like they are utterly alone and that they want to sabotage their life, but they don't want anyone to know that they're sabotaging their life. It doesn't have to have anything to do with alcohol or addiction. It can, but it doesn't have to because I know there are a lot of people that are struggling mentally, emotionally, spiritually, for which alcohol is not even a quote unquote symptom, if you will. Maybe it's something else that you use to escape reality, but no one knows that you struggle with it because you feel shame and guilt around it. And this video is for you because I know how much it hurts. I know the pain associated with suffering in silence and thinking that no one will ever understand and no one will ever hear you and no one will ever validate your experience and ultimately that no one's ever going to offer a solution that's actually going to give you some relief at some point. And I'm not saying that I have the answers. That's not what this post is about. Sure, I can help people that want to quit alcohol, want to get sober, stay sober. I do believe that I have some tricks and programs that can really help make that possible. I think it can even actually work for people that don't struggle with alcohol. But what you are looking for right now is validation that you matter. You don't have to suffer alone. There are many people out there that know exactly how you feel, regardless of the situation, regardless of your journey. There are many people that I'm sure if you just said, I need help, this is what I'm struggling with, they would say, I hear you, and I'm struggling the same, and I need help. And maybe through that power of vulnerability, the power of asking for help, you'll find the allies, the buddies, the network, the support system that you deserve, that you need. Because ultimately, what helps us get through day one, day two, week one, one month, one year of our recovery healing journey, no matter what it is, is knowing that we are not alone and knowing that there are people who feel the exact same way and together as a community, as a collective, we can heal ourselves and we can overcome whatever emotional, mental, spiritual struggle that we are having. I just said having. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds beautiful that we are having. But my friend, whoever is seeing this, you are meant to see this and you're meant to know that you are not alone. And if you ever want to reach out to me just to have someone to ask for ideas about next steps for whatever it is, whether it's related to alcohol or not, please DM me. And ultimately, I just want you to know that the life you want is, is, is around the corner. It can literally start tomorrow. I was just telling a friend, tomorrow could be the rest of your life, of the life that you want, of the life that you deserve. You just got to get out of your own way. And part of us getting out of our own way is knowing that we deserve more and that we don't have to sabotage our life and that we don't have to suffer in silence. That we can ask for help, we can 